in the 1L curriculum, we have a set of core courses, and they're all required courses. And a lot of them are similar to courses that are offered all across the United States in law schools, because there is a canon when people study law. There is a foundation that everyone will have. And it's a foundation of knowledge, but it's also a foundation of how we think as lawyers. And so the first year is really about getting students starting to think like lawyers, in addition to learning about constitutional law, in addition to learning about property, a little bit about contracts, and these various different areas. And we also introduce our students to legal writing and to legal advocacy so they get an opportunity to write a motion during their first year. They get an opportunity to start to learn how to argue in a courtroom. So in students second and third year, they have complete choice over the courses that they will take. Well, I should say there's one caveat, all students need to take a professional responsibility course. But aside from that, we expect that our students will take a core of courses that will help them get ready for the bar exam, regardless of what their practice area may be. But then we also have a lot of different specialties where students can take a number of different courses where they can have experiences in the classroom, also in a clinic, perhaps doing an externship, and all of these areas line up so that we can have students who come out with a great specialty in intellectual property, in indigenous law, in public policy, in business and commercial law. Law school classes are very different from classes that students take as an undergraduate. We expect that students will come to class fully prepared and have a much more interactive experience. Whereas in undergraduate, it's mostly unusual for a student to raise her or his hand and ask a question, except possibly in a seminar. Here, it is common practice for a professor to call upon a student. The Socratic method means that a professor would call on one student and engage in a back and forth of questions and answers to try to elicit information from the student about a particular case, usually about the court's reasoning. Here at MSU College of Law, most of our professors use what I would call a modified Socratic method in that they're not engaging with one student only back and forth for 20 or 30 minutes in a series of questions but asking one or two questions, eliciting answers from the student, and then engaging many more students. As a result, it's really important that students listen to their classmates because they are not only hearing important information from the professor, they're hearing important information from their fellow classmates who are answering some of the questions. As I think about the transition from college to law school, I think it is a, law school is a very intense experience. And for a lot of students, that can really be a surprise, especially because a lot of students who come to law school are naturally talented students. And in law school, no matter who you are, no matter where you go to law school, you really need to step it up a notch. And at the same time, our recently retired Dean of Students would always remind students that law school is a marathon that you are in it for three years and you need to really think about, okay, how am I, what do I need to do today? What do I need to do tomorrow and next week and next year? And always remember that those, that's, it's a three-year experience and at the end of it is a wonderful career. Undergrad was so much more laid back than your first, uh, your first year in law school. I have never studied as much or read as much as I do now, but I've also never learned nearly as much as I do now. In every class that you read, you pick up on something new or some type of new information that you get to take home with you and then get to use in the rest of your career as a lawyer. I think there are a lot of stories about law school competitiveness, and if you read 1L by Scott Turow, that's a big part of it, right? But students don't tear pages out of law textbooks or case books in the library, if nothing else. So much is digital these days that it would be silly to do that. But even more importantly, it's always nice to see students working together in study groups, working together on projects. And that's much more what we have here at MSU Law. Students are fearful of being called on and they worry perhaps that they are going to be embarrassed if they don't know the answer. It is not our goal as a professor to call on a student and embarrass the student. It is our goal to make sure that students know how to think on their feet, to be able to answer the question from a client, from a judge, from a senior partner, 
or from a team with whom they're working. This kind of learning environment better prepares people for their professional life.